And welcome to part five. I'm really excited about today. I'm excited because this calendar planner is about to start coming together really, really quickly. I know I told you at the beginning this was going to be a lot of work. It is a lot of work, but now the fun is starting because we're really going to start to see things taking place, taking shape, and you're going to see it come together. Everything else that we've been doing has taken a long time uh, and not much has happened, but today you're going to see things happen really fast. So uh, we've already got everything all set here for the month of August, and what we're going to do is, is we're going to use now our master pages and what we've created on these two pages here. We're going to use all the elements to very quickly lay out the rest of the calendar. So I've worked ahead a little bit in my other file just so I can make sure I know what I'm doing. And so far it's worked out. So we'll see if I can, if I can duplicate that now that I'm actually doing this on video. So with uh, page six and seven selected, and actually you don't even have to select them, you just right click on them and we're gonna go down to master page and click on the C master page or the week view that we created in video one. And we're gonna do the same thing to eight and nine, 10 and 11. All right, and 12 and 13, master page, C view. All right, so now we have a bunch of blank, but weak views. They don't have all the elements in it. Now watch this. I told you it was going to start taking place really quickly. I'm going to go back to pages four and five, which has August as we laid it out. I'm going to make a couple of quick changes to it before we begin because I discovered that this was going to be a little too large once we start doing double digit numbers. So we're going to drop this down to 20 point. That looks good right there. And I think that was the only change we needed to make. So now with nothing else selected on the page, like I don't have any text box selected, I'm gonna hold down control and hit the A key. This is select all. So what it does is it looks at everything on the page that is not part of the master page and it selects it. Now we're gonna do control C to copy it, jump down to pages six and seven and paste it in doing control V and it drops everything in place. We're gonna do the same thing to all of these pages. Just control V, control V, click 12, 13, control V. All right, so we go back to pages four and five. We see we left off on the sixth. So all we have to do now is click pages six and seven, and then come in and add in the numbers. So it's going to be seventh, eight, whoops, nine. All right, so we left off on 13. We're gonna go to pages eight and nine, 14. Okay, now before we go on, I forgot to do one thing on pages six and seven, and that is to change right here. So it is the week of the seventh through the 13th. Okay, now it didn't fit inside of the box that I have here. And so if you, if you see the red show up, it's because the letters are too large, or in this case numbers, are too large to fit in that space. So I'm just gonna drag this out. And this one needs to come out till it is in line. The rest of them should fit now. We'll see what happens as we now get into the 14th. Okay, and it didn't, so we need to make this. Oh, that's right. I, I only made it larger on the other page. Uh, 14th through the 20th. <clears throat> okay, it does need to be a little bit larger. It's okay. We'll bring these out. There we go. And now that I have it 
Uh, you know, let's, let's actually make sure that a two is going to fit in there. It is. Now that we have that set, we can go ahead and, and copy this. We'll delete this one out on uh, pages 10 and 11. So this is a little bit of trial and error, as you can see. And uh, whoops, um, I did not copy it from before. Control Z will undo. Let's jump back up here. Copy that. And we can do the same thing down here on pages 12 and 13. Go ahead and paste that in. And now when we copy anything from these pages, it's going to work um, as we get going. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead so that uh, everything for this month is done. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at doing the next month view. All right, so to put in the month view, we're going to go ahead and right click on pages 14 and 15, go to the master page setting, and click on the month view. And now once again, we're going to copy elements that we've already used to go ahead and set up our next month. So it's going to save us a lot of work now. So we come up here to August. We're going to go ahead and hit Control A to select all of the elements. Control C to copy them. Jump down here to page 14 and 15 and Control V to paste. Now we'll go ahead and start out by editing the month. So we know that we are in September. All right, what did I do wrong? There we go. <laughs> I knew it was supposed to fit. <clears throat> All right, we've got September in there. Now this was is going to be updated to August. And this to October. Now we already have an August month view put together right here. So what we can do is, is we'll go ahead and select it, copy it, control C, jump over to here and delete this one. Control V to paste, <clears throat> grab a hold of it. And right now it's, it's free. I can move it anywhere. So I'm going to hold down the shift key. It's going to snap it so that it stays in line and it'll snap into place and I'll let go. So now we've already got August in there. All we have to do is update the October and we'll be ready to go here in September. So let's double check our calendar here um, for September. And it looks like we've starting out on August 27th, going down through September 30th. So let's go ahead and drop those numbers in. We've got 27, we can just tab over, 28, 29, 30, double tab, 31, and go ahead and put in all the rest of the numbers. All right, now that all the numbers are in place, we just need to edit a couple of them. So the 29th and 30th are, are gray and they're not bold. So we're gonna bold them by hitting Control B and then turning them back to black. And then we've got the 31st through, or the 29th through the 31st here. Those need to be gray and unbolded. All right, so next thing we need to do is go ahead and update October. So we know that that is gonna start out on the first. <clears throat> go ahead and select that box, and then we can zoom in really quickly just by grabbing a hold of our little scroll bar down here in the bottom right. So we know this is starting out on the first right here. Let's go ahead and tab through that and get it all set up. All right, now that we've got all the numbers in place, we just need to edit those as well. Selecting the first through the fifth, we're going to bold those and go back to black. And then down here at the bottom, uh, November 
first through the fourth. And we're going to unbold those and turn them gray. And now we have, should have, our month view set up for September. Now all we need to do is lay out the weeks for September. So if we look back at the end of August, we'll see that we have the first, second, and third of September was already uh, in place here on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for that week view. So we're going to start out the first week on the fourth. Right click, add the master page for the week view. We'll come up here to August, or the last week of August. Select everything, control A, copy it, control C. Come down here, paste it, control V, and now we just start updating. September, good, I remembered how to spell. We know that we're starting out um, on the, what did we decide? It was gonna be the fourth, so that can go in here. Four. So we've got September 4th through the 10th. We need to update this. And we also need to update the calendar because it's the month we are in. Uh, September. And we know we already have a September calendar because we used it on the August uh, month view. So we can delete that out scroll back up here to August, grab our September, copy it, control C, jump down here, paste it, control V, of course it shows up in the exact same place it was in before, so we need to grab a hold of it, hold down our shift key, and drag it into place. Let go, and we're set to go. Now, as we create the rest of the week views for September, we're going to want to copy everything from this first week view that we just did. So control A, select everything, then control C, add in our master page and paste everything in, update all of the numbers. And now we just keep repeating that process that we've just gone through, keep repeating that process until the whole entire calendar is finished. So we're gonna go ahead and end there for today in part five, I'm gonna show you uh, what I would do anyways uh, to go ahead and fill in some of the white space that's in this calendar. Obviously, depending on your setting, you might put something different in there, but I'll kinda show you what I've got in mind, but basically, we're done. Uh, if you want to go ahead and customize the thing, um, you know, make it personal. If you want to do color, I've, I've designed this in grayscale, uh, in, on the inside in grayscale on purpose because um, I know that it's a whole lot cheaper to print with just black toner rather than printing in full color. But if you want to print in full color and you want to add some flair to this, you can easily go in and change the color. Um, go to the master page. You can change each one of these elements, change their colors, and make it personal, make it yours. You can also update the font, play around with that. There's so much that you can do now that you've got this laid out and you know what you're doing. So we'll wrap this up in um, part six. Like I said, I'll go ahead and add in a few elements and then uh, maybe in that or maybe we'll do a part seven where I'll actually talk about the actual printing and how to set this up so it'll print correctly. Thank you all for watching. Once again, if you're loving this tutorial, please share it with a friend and leave me a comment below. If you have any questions that you want me to answer, in the in the final video uh, make sure that you drop those down in the comments below and I will do my best to try and answer them in the final video thank you all take care bye bye